How to make makeup brush holders. Guys, Hi. um, I have my sister here, and today we're making um makeup brush holders. And what you're gonna need is we're each doing different colors, but for me, you're gonna need um a mason jar or any sort of jar. Um, glitter. I'm using gold. I'm using. Oh, so you're gonna need paint. I'm using a pink paint. Um. A stencil, I'm using these polka dots. And then um, like a brush, like a sponge brush, like you know that you can put on the bottom polish brush. And then here. I'm using a mason jar, it's blue glitter, um, like a coral paint, and these like weird design stencils. <laughs> and just like Isabella, I'm using a sponge brush. Now we may need extra brushes, so we will like this whole brush kit. And then we have Mod Podge, of course. So yeah, get started. First off, we're gonna start out with me. Okay, so first off, I'm um, just getting my mason jar out, and then I'm grabbing a sponge, and I'm stippling on my Mod Podge. And um, I may have added too much, but, so just try not to add that much. I added way too much, I feel like, but not too much, so it's good. So just try not to add as much as I did. Don't put it on the top of the lid. I don't know why. Okay. But, like paint you could, but Mod Podge, I don't know. My sister did, but it's fine with her, so. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is, you're putting in the glitter, then put back on your lid, and then you're going to shake it. Then take it out and kind of do it in a circle. And um, then now we're on to paint. And you're going to paint. I have um, a stencil and it's like circles. So that's how it should work. So you're just going to put it on the stencils. Mine kind of got messed up so I had to do it twice. But I have little small polka dots. That's why. Um, so yeah. And um, when you um, do do it, don't. Use like a brush, use on the stipple and let it dry. Now I'm taking the Mod Pod and I'm brushing it with the stippling all over my mason jar and making sure I get it everywhere. Now I'm taking the glitter, mine's blue, and I'm pouring it in there. And I put the lid back on and you shake it up a little bit, making sure it sticks to every inch of the mason jar. Then you roll it around in a circle. And now we empty it out. Empty it out. Make sure you get all the excess glitter out. I'm now taking my stencil, which was just a, a design, and I'm coloring it with um, a paint making sure you cover the whole stencil and it's all packed on. I made sure I did a couple coats so the paint would come out clear once I took the stencil off. Okay, now I just check it and I wanted to make sure it was dry before I ripped my stencil off because I didn't want the paint to smudge. But, yep. Okay, so now me and Michelle are both painting on our paint. Um, I started out with my color, but it was too light, so I started using Michelle's color. 
we wanted to make sure we painted the whole top of the rim and we did a lot of coats so it wasn't clear or see-through. I also painted the inside of my rim because the blue sparkles were just showing through my paint. I have gold so mine was light so it's alright. And hers, since she did the Mod Podge, hers were all stuck there. That's why I said not to do the Mod Podge. <laughs> but she did it anyway. So, yeah. We forgot to record this, but I added a heart. And after that, we took these beads that we bought at Michael's and we poured them in our jar just so they could hold our makeup brushes in place. So now we're putting in our makeup brushes. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.